At one stage in her life, our next guest was a solo mother of six on a benefit. Now she is a successful international speaker, prolific author, and a time management consultant as well. Robin Pierce, welcome to the show. Thanks very much, Mel. So you've become a successful corporate. What did you change? Uh, I had quite a bit to change, actually, because my time management skills were all over the place. Mm -hmm. But a friend said to me one day, after I'd done the solo mother thing and I'd ended up in Auckland selling real estate, he said, oh, for goodness sakes, Robbie, go and get a decent diary. And that was the beginning of it. So I started learning for myself, and to my surprise, people started asking me for help a few years later. Actually, that's a very good starting <laughs> point, a decent diary. Yes. It's very good advice. When it comes to our money, I mean, what can we do to be more organised? Uh, there are so many things we could talk about, but I, th I think the most important thing would be about keeping it simple yes. and having simple systems. And if we can keep things... Um, just easy so that we're not making things complicated. For example, just talking to somebody very recently and she was saying, oh, I, no, I haven't quite got, had time to get to sort out my KiwiSaver yet. Mm -hmm. And it could be in that case as simple as putting it in the diary. Okay. So, and a, a, just a time management tip there is, for example, uh, blocking out every week one or two things that are going to make a difference, right, that are appointments with ourselves. So, that making time to go and see the KiwiSaver people is just one example of that. It's really good advice because I have lots of things in my head that I think I should be yes. doing and they're in the back of my head but they're not written down anywhere and they just keep getting sort of ticked over to the next week and they don't actually happen. Opening new yes. bank accounts, this sort of thing. Exactly. Okay, do you think we need to have the latest technology to keep on top of everything? No, no I don't. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that in two ways really. There are, there are certainly technology that can make a big difference, Mel. Um, online banking is really great. Yeah. Another simple little system would be with our um, email system is having folders. So, for example, I have one folder that's the bills to pay because so often ma bills come in the mail these days, in the, in the email these days. I, do. I have one uh, that's paid. I have another one for donations. So when I'm putting my taxes together for the accountant, I can just quickly find the things. It's again, it's keeping things simple. So they come into your email account and you just move them straight into these other into, into these those folders. folders. Yes. So, for example, and that's about you using rules on my website which is gettingagrip.com I've got articles uh, quite a few articles there in the blog section one of them is how to keep your inbox empty and that's about how to use rules to do um, this kind of thing so it's automatically filed my power bill my water bill my um, credit card bill they're automatically filed but they stay unread I, when I'm ready to pay them I know which days I need to pay them it's in the diary <laughs> it's all those simple systems again and then when I've paid them I trust click and drag into the paid folder Oh, I love you. You really quite inspire me, actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I have set up some in my in my in inbox, but I don't actually check them. So this is the problem. I've got these different folders, but I don't put things in them or I don't check them. Do you run with a phone diary or do you have a written diary, like an actual uh, yeah. hard diary? I'm going to sound like a Luddite here, but I love my paper diary. Okay. And it's really interesting. There is no one right answer, though, because if you're in a really large corporate you do um, need to be working with your outlook. But uh, for myself, I don't have a lot of people that have to access my diary. So I just really prefer my paper diary. I can get the diary items in much faster than anyone on an electronic system. Excellent. I like the way you think. You're a lady after my own heart. <laughs> Good. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you. And I'm going to go home and set up my inbox so it works to my advantage, shall we say. And I'll read the things that come in. You would hate my inbox. It's got 287 unread emails at the moment. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Mel. A absolute pleasure having you in the sh on the show.